Hi, Jared from Photo to Canvas here. Today I'm going to show you how I ship paper prints. So here we have a 16 by 24 fine art print. I'm gonna get the print and I'm going to roll it up in glassine paper. Um, this is an acid-free paper that you can order from Uline. I'll put a link in the description below. And it's uh, totally safe with your photos. So it works great for this. It's also fairly inexpensive. I buy it in three foot wide rolls. They have different widths, but I have a lot of different sizes that I ship. So that usually has me covered. Um, after I roll the print and I roll it ink side out, I have always been told that it is the best for the ink to keep the ink on the outside. And that is also the way that the paper is naturally curled when it comes out of the printer. I get this and I put it in a poly sleeve. Now, unfortunately, the poly sleeve is the least eco-friendly part of this process. Um, if anybody out there has any suggestions, please let me know. Ideally, just a craft paper version of the same thing, um, like a paper cookie sleeve, but a full length roll of it so I could cut off any tube would be awesome, but it's something that I'd have to have custom made and with the size of my business, I could I can never afford to do that. Um, so pack this up in here. So these are the boxes I use. Um, they're a U-line box. I can put the, the link in the description below. I use 25s and 37s. Um, this way, a 24 inch print or a 36 inch print can go in with a little bit of extra on the ends um, for padding. I also, for my smaller prints, 12 inches and under, have a smaller box and I can put that in the link below as well. So these fold up just like this. Now, these are rated for 200 pounds, but I've had them get damaged. Um, I do not understand how when I've seen pictures. I've also had people try to open them up from the sides, which is not a good idea for your, for your print. Um, so what I've started to do is include a tube. The tube goes inside. The tubes are also 25 inches, just a little bit under, um, so they fit just fine. Print goes in. This forces people to open the ends, not to open the edge of the box. After that, get some craft paper. Crumple it up. Close that end. Craft paper, ball about the size of the empty space that you have left. Close that end. Tape on each end. Good to go. These weigh about two pounds. I use stamps.com to ship UPS. Um, and it's normally about 10 bucks to ship one of these. So that's how I do it. Same for paper prints. Canvas prints are different and I'll do those in another video. If this video is helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks and have a great day.